So I'm really looking forward to joining with Minister Sonia Savage and this group as we begin to map out uh, the creation of the energy war room promised by uh, the my party in the recent Alberta election. To move Alberta from being a passive, responsive, uh, and kind of defensive posture to a proactive and assertive strategy uh, where we are proactively telling the truth uh, and where we will no longer accept the campaign of lies and defamation. The energy, the goal of the energy war room will be, as I say, to tell the truth about how uh, Canada, Canada, the world needs more Canadian energy. In the last decade, global uh, demand and consumption of oil, for example, has grown by a uh, 10 million barrels per day, or over 10%. Sadly, almost all of that additional energy uh, demand has been met by some of the world's worst regimes, rather than this great liberal democracy, Canada. We'll also be making it clear to uh, multinational companies that seek to apply a double standard to Alberta that we will no longer accept that hypocrisy. So to institutions like the HSBC Bank, we'll be absolutely clear. If they continue to boycott Alberta's energy sector, the government of Alberta will boycott them. And we'll send the same message to major institutional investors around the world who seem to have no qualms about investing uh, in OPEC dictatorships and Putin's Russia, but are applying a double standard only to this jurisdiction. And that is why it is essential that uh, later this month, the federal government demonstrate its commitment to prosperity and national unity by uh, endorsing and approving the Trans Mountain expansion. And I'm reiterating a call on behalf of Albertans right across the political spectrum. And a majority of British Columbians, as demonstrated in recent polls, uh, who want to be partners in prosperity. We, so we reiterate uh, the call I made personally to the Prime Minister in his office a month ago. Please uh, let us be partners in prosperity together by approving that uh, project that has been subject to the most rigorous review uh, uh, possible.